You're almost done. Up next is what we call the finishing steps. By the end of this video, the goal is for you to have your final trim done, exo shield laying flat on the windshield, and minimal moisture underneath the film. You should end this step with your install ready to cure before your customer comes to pick up their freshly protected vehicle. During the final parts of this process, it's important to remain thorough and ensure that when you send your customer on their way, that you're confident that they're gonna have a great experience while protected by ExoShield. Before your customer comes to pick up their vehicle, double check the edges to ensure that no fingers have popped up. Also, check your installation to ensure that there's no contamination within the line of sight. If you've done a good job of setting expectation while selling ExoShield to your customer, presenting them with their freshly protected vehicle should be relatively stress-free. Let's check back in with Lawrence and get this installation finished up. Now that I've gotten all the fingers down, I did the top fingers and I went to the sides and knocked down any fingers that might have popped up there. Now I'll do the bottom. Once that is all done, real important that we're going to heat all the edges really thoroughly. Now, on a frameless piece of glass, if we're still overhanging on the sides and on the top, it is important that we get that trimmed out at this point if you haven't already. Uh, many times you're going to need to trim that up before you start knocking the little fingers in order to get them to stay down. Once that's completed, we're going to get a fresh paper towel with our hard card and we're going to be real thorough in heating every single edge. Very, very important that you are very thorough about this part, especially if you live in a cold, wet climate or if it's the time of year where it's cold and wet or if you're in a humid part of the, part of the world where it's obviously damp as well. Um, th those areas are very important that you're being thorough. You don't want a customer driving off and have a finger pop up on you. Now, at that point, I'm gonna let the car sit. Um, I never release a car out of my garage right away. I want it in, in my garage in at least for an hour. Now, I'm in Las Vegas where it's extremely dry and hot most of the time. Uh, I have an advantage, uh, but even in that, climate, I still want the car in my shop for at least an hour. In that hour that I'm having the car sit in my shop, I'm going to put all the pieces back together that I need to, uh, which is generally the windshield wipers, a lot of times the cowling, sometimes the hood back on. Uh, this is time I'm going to take care of all of that. Um, when I put the windshield wipers back on, I always clean them and I always check them. Uh, it's, it's, it's rare, but every now and then you get a, uh, you know, it's a, it's a off-road vehicle or it's been used off-road or whatever the situation and the windshield wipers could be chewed up. So you want to make note of that to talk to the customer about it. After the hour I've rechecked it, I'm going to, the car is ready to be released to the get to the customer. I'm going to put my care tag in the car. Um, and then I'll have a conversation about care personally with the customer. And at that point, a lot of times we'll, we'll talk about, um, you know, you know, check back in a couple days. One, one thing that's really important with ExoShield is, is that you are going to be thorough enough that you're not going to worry whether there's going to be an edge. Um, you don't want to be in that situation where a car drives off and you're concerned. If you're thorough enough, that's not going to be a concern for you. So thanks for joining us. And uh, I want to say a couple things in closing. Uh, working with ExoShield, don't be intimidated by it. Don't be intimidated by the size of fingers you get on certain windshields. Um, the process is all about taking a big finger and just breaking it down. If you always look at it in that sense, um, then that's all it is. Um, we just take each finger and break it down a little bit, a little bit, and a little bit. And it's the process of doing that to keep the film fresh. If you always go at it with that process, instead of thinking, I'm gonna mold down this one huge finger right now, you will always be successful. So don't ever be intimidated by it. Um, and practice, practice, practice. Take B-grade film, put it on your car, put it on your friend's car, and keep practicing on different cars. That was really helpful to do that. But again, follow the process, look at the videos. It absolutely works. Um, the patience, I have two holes in my garage with my foot when I first started this back in 2010. And I can tell you, if I can get to where I'm at with molding the film with ExoShield, you can too. Congrats, you made it to the end, but your journey has just begun. Thanks for watching our Installing ExoShield Basics course. From here, it's up to you to take the methods and skills that Lawrence has outlined in these videos and practice, practice, practice. Remember, you can always go back and review content throughout this series at your convenience. 
We hope you found these videos incredibly valuable. We can't wait to see your installs. Make sure that you're tagging us at hashtag GetExoShield on all the socials. Drop us a comment in the partner group on Facebook. We'd love to hear from you. Until the next one, keep up the great work. See ya.